Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Joe's Kitchen channel. I hope you're well. Hello if you've never been here before. I'm Jo. Uh, this is basically my foodie vlog channel where I do recipes, hauls, reviews, pretty much anything that's foodie related. Uh, I also have a family channel called Mummy Needs Wine where I record all our family travel adventures and I occasionally get to have a treat myself on that channel too. So here we are. It's a day in the life video it's the 23rd of november happy thanksgiving if you're in america although you won't obviously get this until probably next week so uh yeah today is sort of a normal day i'm just doing my busy mum routine i'm trying to declutter for christmas so i'm going to be listing some stuff for sale on ebay and facebook and wherever else i can put it uh i'm also going to go and see my dad in starport because he's just moved into a caravan down there and we're hopefully going to sleep over tomorrow night so i'm going to go and get make sure the beds are ready and make sure he's doing all right and then uh tonight which is the reason why i'm filming it this day as a vlog day in the life vlog really i'm going to web of witch bowl which for those of you who don't know is in droitwich in worcestershire it's about 20 minutes down the road from where i live and i've been invited to a christmas master class with their butcher so we're going to go there we're going to go and talk some turkey uh, there's going to be some demonstration from what i gather and then we're going to have a i'm guessing an early christmas dinner so yeah, that's tonight. So yeah, so yeah, normal day and then a bit of a treat tonight. So come along for the ride. I've just realised I've been yapping on for nearly two minutes now, so I'm going to shut up and I'll see you later. Okay, it's now 20 past 10. The kids are at school. I've done a few jobs at home. I'm now on my way via doing a few other jobs to uh, go down to my dad's in Starport. I'm not really going to film much. Well, probably not anything while I'm in Starport because I'm just going to the caravan site and... Uh, yeah, it's a cold caravan site in November. So, yeah, I am hoping to in the summer next year when we're there to perhaps do some like caravan dishes and stuff and do a bit of possible filming in the caravan. I don't know. And uh, if you do follow my mum and to wine vlog, then we'll, we'll, we'll I'll probably do a weekend vlog down there too at some point so you'll be able to see it. So, but yeah, I'm not probably not going to film today. And then uh, once I've sorted that out, I need to get some lunch because I'm hungry already. And... Uh, then come back and you can see me decluttering, which should be fun. <laughs> hello everyone, uh, it's now half past two. I don't know why I say hello every time I talk to you. I'm going to stop that there. Yeah, big spot. Yeah, lovely. And uh, yeah, it's now half past two. I stopped breathing for a coffee and a cake on the way back. So as we would have just seen, I've just lifted, listed some stuff for sale on Shiplock, or however you say it, it's a new selling platform. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know, yeah, a friend, <coughs> a friend recommended it to me, so I'm trying to declutter our living room and I'm about to start hanging my clothes up. So yeah, so I've only got half an hour until I need to pick Daniel up, so I'm just trying to be quick, bring him back home get them changed, get them around to my mum's for a bit and then I'm going to drive to Webb's and perhaps have a look around the garden centre and that first before the event because they've actually got, it's, like I say, it's a garden centre but it's got like a food emporium and a nice restaurant and a late land store so I might go and get a little bit lost in late land because I have seen some of the Christmas stuff and I do quite like it so I'm going to stop talking to you now and I'll probably see you again when I get to Webb's because yeah, it's not very foody so... So I'm here, I've made it to Webbs, I think I'm a bit blurry, yeah, oh, I'm here now. So I'm a bit early, so I'm going to go and do some shopping. Yay! No kids, woohoo! finish this, this would be Nanny, the last thing I needed to do, 
I've got my gravy, so I've part boiled my potatoes. I've kept my potato water, yeah? You need to keep the potato water, it's got all that flavor for your gravy. You don't have to worry about using granules because there's nothing wrong with granules at home, you know? You're not gonna make um, veal stock like a chef's gonna make 40 liters of veal stock in his kitchen or her kitchen. And what we're going to do is make sure that once again we're making it easy to get prepared for the next day and once again these all this would be in our fridge it's all in nice neat piles though yeah because i'm a bit ocd so it has to be nice nice neat piles and in the same place that it always is yeah but apart from that what we're going to do so we're going to saute that bacon and i can smell that and i'm just going to get a really nice color on that can you store it shredded Pardon? can you store those Shredded, yeah, of course you could. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to show you obviously it blank, but right, yeah, right, you right. could shred it and it would be right together. So this would be fried up. You could actually have it done then in a dish. So that could be one of your dishes. These are already in a dish. These are in a dish. My parsnips are in a dish because I'm going to cook those. When I blanch those off, I'm going to blanch those off whole because if I blanch my parsnips whole, obviously I've got them, they're not going to break up in cooking, I can just take them in half, so there's loads and loads and loads of things, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I used to be terrible, I cook about 15 different veg for Christmas day, you know, because I, I now want some cream leeks, and now I want some cauliflower cheese, you know, and now maybe I need some puree of celeriac, but you can do that because you've got so many things ready, and probably I was on the second bottle of red wine by then as well, so that really helps. So again, a beautiful, beautiful cut. So we can smell that, all that beautiful flavours coming out there. And I'm just going to do this one as the last one, because we're just going to show you the turkey after that. I think we're bang on time now, so that's good. So when we're frying that together, so all we're going to do is that's how easy there is. Now if you wanted to do it into quarters or halves, and you felt like you wanted to keep it a little bit more whole, not a problem. But for me, this is just, it's quite nice because you're starting to get different textures. You know, maybe some of the family you've invited for, for Christmas Day didn't like sprouts, but they're going to try this. You know, I remember my dad, he would never eat a leek. And I made it into like cream leeks and he was going, putting some on his plate and I was going, do I have that? Yeah, it's all right. It's He would never have touched it as a leak. But because you put it into a different form, he's thinking, mm, this actually is quite good. So what Evening all, so I'm back home now after a wonderful time at Webb's. Uh, I didn't get to film as much as I would have liked. I did want to film a bit at dinner, but uh, my camera battery started going. First time that's ever happened to me. So yeah, I filmed a bit of the demonstration, which you would have just seen, and then we had a nice dinner. It was pork with a Welsh rarebit topping with potatoes and cabbage and sprouts. And then we had a mince pie brownie with pistachio ice cream, which, to be honest to me, it sounded absolutely horrendous. But I tasted it and I ate it all. It was amazing. So I'll insert some photos of the food here, hopefully. We also had some wine talk as well. I did film a little bit of that. And we had a little bit of talk about the butchers and stuff and that, but so today was the first time I've been to Webb's for at least a couple of years, maybe longer. And I must say the food hall was amazing. I think I'm probably going to live there now. And the fact that they've got a Lakeland too makes it even better for me. So yeah, it was amazing. I've been given a lovely hamper of products from them. So what I think I'm going to do is film a little like Webb's food hall haul as it were so you can see the kind of things that they do i mean they are obviously a worcestershire company based in the midlands but they do do online as well so you guys can get to see what they do as well as me and if you are local why not give it a visit because it's really good in the olden days i would have said that web was a little bit poncy and a little bit posh but although that's what i thought in the old days the last time i went a couple of years ago it didn't seem to make food that accessible but now the food hall is completely opened up, it's light, it's airy, you can see all the food clearly. It's all quite reasonably priced also I thought. So yeah, I was really really impressed. So if you haven't been there, or if you're like me, you haven't been there for a while, then go and pay them a visit. So thank you very much to Webster for inviting me along. 
I'm going to stop waffling now because this vlog has been quite a bit of me waffling. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'd love it if you can give it a thumbs up and I'd love you even more if you could subscribe. If you have made it to the very end of this video, please comment below with the word turkey. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.